Welcome to Bastards Incorporated, where we help people identify and deal effectively with the bastards in their lives. At Bastards Incorporated, we put a spotlight on bastards because we firmly believe that bastards, well, they're everywhere and we need to learn to deal with them. We need to identify them and we need to put in place mm, effective strategies to deal with those bastards in our lives. That's right. And that's what we help you do here at Bastards Incorporated. We're a self-help channel and um, nothing to do with being bastards ourselves, although, um, thanks, Mark, stage manager, yeah, uh, a bit of a minimalist. Thanks, Mark. Okay, so moving right along, well, there could be bastards here, but, you know, because bastards are absolutely everywhere, and that's what we're about. We're about identifying and dealing with bastards. Now, in our first video, we uh, went through uh, the means of identifying the bastards, and uh, that pretty much came down to whether you would write, comment, think, what a bastard. That's pretty simple. I mean, you can't get more simple than that. And, uh, and we like to go with simple. We like to go with things that people can relate to very, very quickly because you never know when you need to deal with an emergency bastard situation. Now, there are many, many categories of bastards, and then we established that in our first instruction video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at specific situations where bastards may arise in your life. We're going to show you uh, or instruct you how to deal with those situations effectively to make your life just a little bit more bearable because really we, we shouldn't have to put up with all those bastards. Yep. So now What's the place where there are lots and lots of bastards? Well, really, there's lots of places, and we're going to look at all those places in turn and, uh, and assist you with the specific situations. But today, we're going to look at shopping centres. Yes, that's right. Public areas, there's lots of bastards, and, uh, and, and there are known bastards. They might be lurking around the corner, and you just wouldn't know. Absolutely, yeah. So you've got to be prepared for bastards, particularly in any public places. But shopping centres, malls, public shops, yep, there are lots of bastards out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, identify some of those types of bastards and, uh, and give you a little toolkit so that uh, you can learn to deal with them yourself. Yep, that's right. Because we're into self-help here. And we think that you should learn to, uh, yeah, look at those bastards in your life and just say, yep, yeah, no more, no more. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so what sort of bastards are you likely to encounter in a public place? Well, okay, uh, well, pretty much all of them. But let's say a shopping centre. So you've got uh, a lot of inconsiderate bastards, a lot of rude bastards. A lot of impatient bastards. You've got uh, you've got some sly bastards. Yeah, some sneaky bastards, which are kind of the same thing, but you know that depending on the situation can differ quite quite a lot. You've got a lot of impatient bastards because let's let's face it, you know people don't have a lot of time in their lives to um, spend in shopping centres sometimes. And uh, but the two main ones that uh, we will give you a, a strategy immediately to deal with. Uh, the dumb bastards and the crazy bastards. Now, sometimes the best thing to do in life is to avoid. Yep, you don't need to confront people. Yep, there's some people you just can't confront. Okay, now I'm going to give you two examples now of the sort of people that you don't really want to deal with in life because really, let's face it, life's just too short to confront some people. Mm, yeah, don't waste your time on this. Okay, so the first category we're going to look at here is the crazy bastard. Right, now, identifying the crazy bastard. The crazy bastard is the person that lines up, yeah, they line up for weeks for a new iPhone. Yep, they have lost their mind. They've taken thermoses and food and tents and they've lined up and they pee in your jar don't 
go anywhere near these people. Uh, beyond, beyond dealing with, because these people aren't rational. They are crazy bastards. Stay away. Stay away from the crazy bastards. Don't deal with them. Okay. Now, that's an extreme example, but, you know, anyone who lines up for more than, say, 10 minutes for something, apart from checkouts, and that's another thing, but for another day, uh, they're probably crazy. Yeah, they're probably crazy bastards, and you don't want to be near them because they don't have a mind. They've lost it. Yeah, so stay well away from anyone lining up for long periods of time, anyone who's bought a blanket, yeah, mm -mm. tent, tent, they're, they're gone, forget them. Okay, so moving on, stay away from the crazy bastards. Now, the next type of bastard that you really can't do a whole lot about and uh, should avoid is the dumb bastard. Now, you'd be surprised at how many dumb bastards, when you actually look around and uh, and you, you'll, you'll come to this later on, you, you'll be able to do this, you'll be able to identify uh, you, you'll be kind of a spotter for bastards, really, after our self-help um, sessions uh, in the public and also in the private areas, if you like. And uh, there are a lot of dumb bastards in shopping centres, malls. Yep, absolutely. So, okay, how to spot a dumb bastard. Now, a dumb bastard will be the person who will be in the uh, grocery section or in a section like the fruit aisle, and they'll be looking for ice cream. Okay. There's no ice cream in the fruit aisle because there's no freezer. They're dumb bastards. Okay, there's really not a lot you can do about dumb bastards because even if you tell them where the freezer is and the ice cream is, they're going to be doing it in another shop in five minutes anyway. So probably best to stay away from the dumb bastards that do that. They're kind of harmless. So, you know, that's that variety of dumb bastard. Now, the next type of dumb bastard is a type that takes four children in a um, shopping trolley down the confectionery or the craft aisle. Now, don't try and help these people because they are dumb bastards. I tried once. Yep, I sort of went... Don't, don't, don't go down that confection and, and, and they just hi, hi oh, those are my children are they yeah no they're not they're not cute and uh, you may think they're cute but they're really they're really not cute shopping centres no children are cute and uh, they're going to come out of that confectionery aisle with two kilograms of sugar mm -hmm, that's right that's a lot of sugary treats and, uh, and they're going to be covered in stamps section but you can't tell these people so because they're dumb bastards so don't waste your time okay now they're fairly harmless generally fairly harmless and uh but probably best to avoid because uh, they're, they're time wasters and really don't have a lot of time in shopping centers now the third and most annoying dumb bastard that um you've got to try to avoid these people and they're really hard to spot you know they're the people that you line up you line up, you know, at the counter or at your cash register with your groceries and you might be in a line of, say, you know, five people and you'll get up there and they'll be, they'll be the person in front of you and they'll pull out a, they'll pull out a 10 litre container of olive oil, yeah, and they'll go put it on the counter and, the, you know, the, the checkout person will put in the price and, and they'll say $25 and the person will go, no, no, oh no, I, no, I don't, I don't think that's right. That was on sale. Yeah, that was on the sale table for $2.50. I don't think so. I don't think so because that's a 10 litre container of olive oil. You're a dumb bastard. And at this point, the person on the checkout, they know they know they're dealing with a dumb bastard and they don't even talk to them. Yep, because you they don't want to waste their time. So they just prick, press the buzzer, buzzer, buzzer. Mm -hmm. Price check, aisle five. And at that point, a little bit of you dies inside. 
but unfortunately you're behind a dumb bastard. Now, there's really nothing you can do about that. That's kind of just bad luck. You don't really want to be there, but you can't do anything about it. Okay, so these are the main categories of dumb bastards that you'll find in shopping centres, but, you know, there's a lot more. Mm. So we'd like to avoid those, avoid the dumb bastards and the crazy bastards. Now, we're going to look at other types of bastards that you need to deal with in shopping centres. Now, first of all, and the main bastard is the inconsiderate, rude, pushy bastard. Yeah, impatient. You know, they really fall into a, quite a lot of categories. It's the person that barges in. You know, you, you've gone to the delicatessen. You're standing there. You're waiting. You're taking your ticket. You're three deep in people. And you're waiting. You go, yep, okay. Yep. Not going to get any of this uh, time back in my life. But you're doing it because everybody really has to do it. They have to wait in line. But some people in life, they don't think lines apply to them. Nope, nope, nope. They don't take a ticket. They just barge straight up to the counter and order their roast chicken. They pretend no one else is there. They pretend they can't see the tickets. They pretend they can't see those big red numbers that say, we're now serving number 346. Bing! They just go straight up to the front of the counter and they go, uh, can I have one roast chicken, please? Uh, I don't think so. No, 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 no. Take a ticket, mate. Yep, absolutely. Yep, yep. <laughs> don't be the person that stands there and lets this person barge through you and be a rude and inconsiderate bastard. Nope. Nope, nope. And they might turn, they might be a charming bastard too. They might turn around and they might say, oh, I've got three kids in the car. I've got three kids in the car and I just want a chicken. I just need a roast chicken. <laughs> this person doesn't have children. Nope, no one's going to breed with this person because this person is a rude and inconsiderate bastard. Now, when you have a rude and inconsiderate bastard like that, don't be nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> you need to say a very loud voice to this person. I'm sorry. It's not your turn. No. There's another ten people that were in front of you, and I think they've all got kids in the car too. That's right. And you need to take a ticket because we've all got tickets. That's right. And then they try to serve the person. You say, oh, excuse me. But this person doesn't have a ticket and he's not next in line in a very loud voice because these people, they rely on everyone else ignoring them. No. These, are, these are people that you do not ignore. Now, ignore the crazy people. Ignore the dumb bastards and the crazy bastards, but don't ignore the rude, pushy bastards. No, no, it's the opposite strategy. So this also can happen. These sorts of strategies also need to be in place at the checkout. That's right, yeah. So when you're walking down to the checkout, you will see the uh, inconsiderate bastard and they will be in the uh, aisle that puts uh, people through that have under 12 items. They'll be the person with the big trolley just brimming, brimming with items. Yeah, they will. And they'll be unloading it as soon as they can behind the person in front of them so nobody sees. And uh, they will be saying, oh, how is it? They'll, they'll be charming. They'll be nice. They'll be going on. They'll be pretending nothing is happening. They'll be pretending that they didn't just walk past a huge big sign that says 12 items. That's right. They will. But you need to go up to that person carrying your two items and you need to say to them, excuse me, didn't you see the huge sign in front of you that says 12 items or less? I do believe 
that you have quite a few more than that and I think you should be in a different aisle. I think you should be at a different counter that actually accommodates someone with a great big trolley full of groceries. Here, let me help you put those groceries back into your cart. Now, be very careful because these people might turn. They might become aggressive. So if you find that they're becoming aggressive, you then talk to the lady at the counter or the man at the counter and say, I'm sorry, I think that this person has made a mistake and didn't see that enormously large sign in front of them that says 12 items or less because they seem to have a great deal more than that and they're putting them on the counter. Perhaps you could instruct them to put it back into their trolley and move to a more appropriate counter. Right now, I think I've exceeded. I've exceeded my time today. And uh, But, you know, really, there are quite a lot of bastards in the public and in shopping centres. So I might have to come back and revisit the shopping centre and, uh, and look at some more bastards. But just remember, be assertive. Don't be aggressive. No, we don't want aggression. Just be assertive and, uh, and avoid the crazy bastard. Avoid the dumb bastard because you really can't get that time back in your life. And I'll see you next time for more on Bastards.